Hey guys, Stratazura here, and I was initially going to make a full breakdown video like the one I made for Vanilla Marvelous Capcom 3, but with so many vids already up, I'm going to focus on some of the observations that I haven't seen others talk about. So for how the UI and portraits look, in these gameplay videos, it appears that they are from different builds. I noticed that some of the portraits were different. The combo breaker mechanic appears to only be ready when your health drops below 25% and have 2 meters. So a small detail is that when you fall into danger with 2 meters, your partner actually calls out to you. It seems to be in a rough state as I can only clearly hear Hulk, Hulk. Kinda Thor Barely Chris. It might be a useful audio cue, but it's hard to say now with how the audio is mixed in these builds. The next thing was brought to my attention by Mega Man DS. So if you block someone's heavy attack while you're in the air, you take chip damage. It seems kind of odd that it will only chip in an air to air situation and not in any other combination of blocking scenarios. The only times I can think of normals chipping in a versus game are for Jin and Sentinel, but it's never been a universal mechanic. Speaking of chip damage, and probably the biggest thing that I notice is that Striders over Boris doesn't chip. Well, actually, the biggest thing that I noticed was how meter is built. So in the versus games for Marvel's Capcom 2 and prior, normals and special moves always built meter regardless. But because characters like Storm were able to whiff moves and build meter at a ridiculous rate, in Marvel's Capcom 3 the change was, okay, Let's make it so that whiffing special moves and normal moves built no meter. You can only build meter when your special or normals actually make contact with the opponent. So in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, they take this a step further. Because it seems, at the moment, you can only build meter when you actually hit your opponent. I feel that this is a very drastic change that will make the super meter an even more valuable resource. This might be to encourage more aggressive play. It might be to encourage the switch system for extended combos to build more meter. Or to make the counter switch not so readily available. So anyway, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Do you guys like this direction? Can this still even be called a versus game? In the future, I hope to do more videos, so feedback is welcome.